let's, instead of working with our hummingbird for our distort category, let's work with my face instead, because that's always a lot more fun. So taking a look at our distort category, we've got a ton of these in here. And of course, I encourage you to just experiment with them and try them out and see what they do. But bulge, for example, is a simple one. And that's pretty obvious. It adds a kind of a bulge effect, almost like a magnifying glass. And as with all of these things, you have animatable properties here that you can adjust. And you can see that you've got a center point here, this bulge center, and you can click directly on that, as you can with many of these effects, to move the bulge area around. You can also just animate it or move it directly by grabbing this thing and dragging it around. But essentially, it's kind of more interactive to just grab it this way and do it. So that's fun. And of course, again, these are all keyframeable properties. Some other distorts we have are, for example, oh, Wave Warp. Wave Warp is a good one. Wave Warp, as you can see, kind of automatically animates. It automatically has sort of a procedural aspect to it in which these distortions are happening as a form of waves that run through the image. And you can see that actually happens pretty quickly and gets uh, some rather... <laughs> some rather grotesque effects, as all the distorts tend to do, actually. And, of course, you can control things like the phase of the warp and the speed and the direction and so forth. The amount of warp that's done with the height and width. But there are also different shapes that can distort, including some noisy ones. So you can get these very kind of warbly sort of shapes like this and shapes that aren't quite as smooth, like oh, circle and things like that, or even the square wave, which gives you these kinds of streaky things like that. So a lot of variety just in that one plugin. And again, this is something that animates automatically. I kind of like the sine wave the best. That's kind of the most fun. There's another one in here that's also fun, a little bit more work. It's called Mesh Warp. What Mesh Warp does is let you actually move the layer around with the points in a mesh here as if it was on kind of a sheet of rubber in a sense. And this whole mesh business, if you just enable the keyframe for distortion mesh, you can keyframe all of these properties here. So you can start out with something that is straight and warp it into any other kind of shape that you want, like so. And if you need sort of higher resolution, you can add more rows and columns, get a finer resolution here, so you can get a finer degree of warping. But as you see, it's again, it's kind of as if it's on a sheet of rubber or something like that, and you're stretching that rubber around. So that's just a couple of the distorts. As with all of these, you're best off just kind of trying them out and see how they work.